Hey guys, G Brad here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Crossout. Hope you're all doing well today. And today we are checking the test server. So I got off work and I just logged into Crossout and I saw the test server was still open for 52 minutes. So I tested out these weapons and they are so much fun. Okay. We're gonna quickly check out the new weapons and this new cabin, as you guys can see. Uh, but for some reason, <laughs> the perk of the new cabin is power is power. So I'm not sure what that means. Uh, it gets 12 energy, 12,500 mass limit, 6,500, and a max speed of 70 kilometer to uh, per hour, which is not too shabby. Um, so we get a new cabin. We get a few new weapons. Let's quickly show you guys. Uh, let me see here. We get a uh, Car part, car part, gun, plasma cutter. We get this thing, so we're gonna check them out. We get a lightning gun. Oh my god, they really brought the drone in. Uh, Sputnik and a nail gun, and of course, the laser that I have on my build. So, we're gonna check them out real quick. RT and a kind of okay. So, the uh, the new drone, the special drone is called Python. Huh, all right, all right. So because last time I don't think it had a name yet. We got a prosecutor. We got the Hulk, the Mace. Those were the special guns that I uh, showed you guys last week, and the Storm. All right, let's quickly check out the new uh, the new weapons. All right. So uh, <laughs> these gu these guns are kind of like the ones from Apex Legends. It charges up like a charge rifle, like this. Boom, baby. <laughs> this thing is going to be so much fun. Boom. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. New weapons in Crossout always get me excited. But of course, we all know it might be a little bit grindy to get these. Oh, not a first shot. All right. So it's not a one shot wonder, you know, but what's nice about this. I know I'm testing it with the wrong cabin but it heats up the cabin or the parts and then it does more and more damage. Check this out. Now 422, now 557, 661, all right, now it's dead. <laughs> so each time you hit the target and it's heated up well enough, you'll do deal more damage. So uh, yeah, these new guns are pretty sick. Oh, let's check out the perk. I didn't even show you guys the perk. Bullet and burst damage. I'm not sure. I think that means that uh, once it charges up on target, it deals damage as well. And the last burst will deal like a certain amount of percentage of damage. Let me just show you guys one real quick. I'm not planning to make this video super long. So also, yep, forgot to mention it last time. We are getting new frames. We are getting one by eight frames, one by six. Six, one by four frames. So we got one by four, one by six, one by eight, and these are at yeah, one by six. We get both variants, light and heavy, as you guys can see here. So that's pretty cool as well. All right, let's uh, check out one, see how much damage it does. 102. Now I'm not gonna go into specifics because all these numbers might still change uh, when it comes to the live server. So I'm not gonna do any reload speed and all that stuff. All right, let's check out this one. A lot of people were excited for this one. Let me just quickly, oh God, it looks so sexy. 64 damage, decent reload. Oh my God, dude, this is so sexy. Uh, let's check the range real quick because I don't think it has super long. Yeah, it doesn't have super long range. I think the range is like. Yeah, maybe a uh, 100 meters. Yeah, all right. So, OK, let's check out four real quick. So how's everybody doing today? Today's Friday and this video will unfortunately not be uploaded today. <laughs> because it's gonna take like a few hours for me to upload and stuff. So probably uh, tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, this video will be up. Oh man, this thing looks, ugh. All right, let's 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 check it out. Eh, not too much damage, ooh. The reload makes it nice though. Oh my gosh. I know it's a pretty big um, hitbox or uh, 
gun, so it might be kind of hard to hide. Oh, what the hell? Pressing shift gives the cabin ability, but I'm not sure you can toggle it. So I'm not sure what that means. So if I press shift, it does a green thingy, and I think this means more engine power and the thing opens in the back and this means faster reload i have no idea let's let's just quickly compare it yeah it does look like faster reload weird i'm gonna test it real quick for you guys so it does take quite a while to shoot kind of a bigger build could be fun though it could be very fun uh, maintenance old server will be disabled in 45 seconds. I gotta hurry up. I'm gonna quickly do the range test. 100 meters. Okay, so the range is yeah a little bit more than 100 meters. So that's good. Uh, let's quickly check out perk calculate extra damage. Don't know what that means. It takes four energy. Last weapon also took four energy. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. All right, let's quickly move on to the next weapon. Uh, once I tested all the weapons, I'm gonna test Cabin's perk. Hopefully we can figure out what it means. Okay, we only get two lightning guns. Oh, they are six energy each. All right, so this is a legendary. The other ones are purples, which are, I'm pretty impressed with their performance for purple weapons. And uh, the last one is a special gun, a nail gun. Uh, that one doesn't look that exciting, but uh, let's see. This one says perk tension overheat description. So this was the one with two. Uh... Oh, you can. Okay, so after a while, it overheats if you don't release the the trigger. So I was holding on to the mouse button and. So you can keep them like this for us. Oh my god, what the heck was that? I don't even see a projectile. Okay, so if you single click... Oh, they're pretty inaccurate. Holy moly. But it does not overheat. You can keep clicking, which is nice. Let's see how much damage it does. Mm. <sighs> Might be fun for PvP. I don't know. Maybe if you're facing a hover with space armor. Let's check out the charge shot. 337 or 73. Yeah, it's the same even if you hold it in longer, it's the same. Six oh nine. Maybe if you hear the beeping, it deals more damage. I think so. Wait, 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 wait. I got a build for this. To see exactly uh, if you hold it in longer, it deals more damage. So first, we're going to quickly release it. 345. Now we're gonna wait till it beeps. It does deal more damage if you hold it in longer. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, other than that, the clicking kind of sucked. Oh wait, I got another test. I wanna see if you hold it in a little bit longer instead of clicking, clicking super fast, if it deals more damage. So, oh, I need one for this. super fast i wish the pulsar was like that all right so a single shot is 30 if you hold okay let's let's wait okay no, it's between 13 and 16 for some reason all right so let's hold it in a little bit oh yeah it does deal more it basically charges up That's not bad. And I also see something opening up here. Ah, 
Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Dude, you guys don't know how excited I am. All right, let's check out the nail gun real quick. We can equip four of these. Uh, these are, I think, three energy each. Four energy each. All right, interesting. All right, let's uh, check them out. Oh, what the heck? Oh, oh, it's also a chargey type weapon. Yeah, you can keep firing by clicking. And then you can charge it up. But then the... Okay, it, 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 he overheats after a while and, and then it just automatically fires. So, something happens when... Oh yeah, it becomes... Oh, okay, I know what it does, so... It kind of looks like it has a magazine and... But you don't see the ammo, like the Corvo. And yeah, once you charge it up, it expands the barrel and all of the uh, nails fire at once. All right, interesting. So if you do this, like all... S Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. 600 damage for a sp Oh, look at all these spikes. Ooh, I wonder if this has the same like kinetic effect like these spikes. God dang. No, I don't see the build moving like when you shoot it with a spike. God dang. All right, all right, all right. Dude, these these guns are going to be pretty cool. Let's check out their effectiveness when it at long range. Not that bad. Not ooh, and you can charge them up pretty fast too. Oh, you just gotta watch the timing though. Oh, dude, <laughs> this special gun is not that bad. I'm impressed with these new weapons. They all feel like relics. Yeah, if you if you get the timing right, you can shoot pretty fast. Oh, and having this with a Colossus engine or something. Oh, all right. 39 minutes. All right, let's quickly check out the reload if the perk is uh, giving me a faster build. I'm just going to put in a an elephant. Man, I really wish I could read power is power. I'm just gonna I'm not sure how to do this test but right now we're going 70 okay see I expected this so the top speed for this cabin is 70 kilometers per hour but I think when you have the engine mode enabled you can get up to 80 maybe because right now I'm doing plus 70 there we go. We're gonna switch it off and see if it affects our performance. Oh yeah, it dropped our performance and now we have a top speed of 70, but now I believe we can reload faster. That's a pretty insane, that's a double perk for a cabin. That's pretty cool. All right, all right. So we know what the first perk is. It just increases your engine power or your cabin power. So. And this will increase your reload. I'm gonna do a side by side. Let's just uh, let's do it on the truck. Actually, we, we can do it from anywhere. Let's just go in the garage, so we can have a nice side by side. Switch to engine reload mode. All right. Yeah, interesting guys, interesting. So uh, yeah, those are the new items. I don't think I missed anything. Oh, my son just came in the room. Uh, perfect timing because I think I already covered everything. Yep. Hey son, we got new guns in the game, finally. All right, so I checked out everything. The maze we did last week, the jewels, oh, the storm we checked out a little bit. The Hulk, the prosecutor, which is gonna be a freaking awesome cannon. Oh, the drone. Yep, still need to do the drone, the new drone. It takes four energy. All right, let's check them out real quick. My son, you might hear my son saying, ha, 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 ha. Ooh, these things. Yeah, man. <laughs> so these. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, let me just pick him up real quick. All right, calm down, calm down. Calm down, daddy's working. So I figured it out. <laughs> they freaking shoot electricity, what the f***? <laughs> Alright, so once you release the drones, as you guys can see, there is no timer on. Oh, there is, but really slow. And then you get a lock on, and then you gotta hit shift again. Oh my god. You drone... People that hate drones are gonna be super... What's nice about them? You can give them commands. But I can't release the, uh, I can't release the lock though. I can lock on somebody else, I think. Okay, so it didn't kill them. Thank God it's not that OP. But it does look OP as frick. They look cool though. They look like miniature like helicopters, which is cool. All right, uh, drones are completely loaded up. All right, let's check it out on the bus. See how much damage it does. Yes. Okay, so now they're not doing anything. They're just flying around. Yeah, don't 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 worry, son. Locked on. And they start zapping away. I wonder if the electricity zap will affect builds like the spark does. I'm not 100% sure on that. If it does, it's going to be freaking OP. Because the spark slows you down, slows down your reload and everything. And it just annihilated a whole bus. Just before it ran out of juice. That's freaking insane, dude. Let me just check out one. See how much damage something like this can do. Oh, I should actually check out the range, but I don't have a radar. Can I can I buy a radar or something? No. Mm. All right, so we're on the promo count. We got some of those uh, big radars, which gives you a range of 600 meters. So we're gonna release our drones. We should be able to lock onto... No? Uh, the bus is further away than 600. Let's check out the range, really. Really? Can't lock on him. Okay, there we go. That's the range, which is... A mm, hundred and twenty-ish meters, maybe. All right, if we lock on. Oh my God, they just freaking go. <laughs> oh, they ran out of juice. God dang it. All right, all right, all right. Yes, yeah, son. This, those things are freaking OP. All right. Fly drones, fly. Oh, and they just go under the tunnel thingy, the the garage thingy entrance. Yeah, did, did you see the, those drones are freaking OP? And I believe you might be able to leave them. Let's just quickly test that. All right, one more test. See if we can leave the drones behind. All right, now they're doing that. I lost lock and they're returning back to me. All right, so that's good. So no sneaky douchebaggy stuff. All right, in this update, they also said they're going to change Clan Wars again, um, like the old system where you cannot drop down uh, in League. But the biggest change is they are going to limit the amount of uranium you can earn in certain leagues, bronze being the most least uranium you can earn per week, and diamond and gold having you uh, giving you the maximum amount you can earn. Now, they're also going to, the way they're going to change the radar armor, because I think it's kind of difficult to have it have a durability, but also make it um, not as effective as a radar armor. So they're going to limit radars that don't cost energy to one per vehicle, which I think is a pretty good change. Uh, one radar is good. What people might do then is they'll have this radar and the blue radar, which is not that bad, you know, instead of people having like 12 radars around the build. But anyways, I think that is it for uh, this new update, uh, the most exciting stuff. Uh, the new weapons look exciting. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I would start, I don't know, I don't know. Prices are going to go uh, the market's gonna be a mess because with these new changes, Coldfire mentioned it, with the new 
um, with the new rank or the rarity, um, prices might go up for stuff, but then prices might go down because people are going to want the new weapon. So market's going to be a mess. Just uh, be smart. I'm not a supermarket smart guy, so I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> Just going to wait until the, the weapons come out. But as you guys can hear in the background, my son's getting bored already. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was kind of fun. These new, these new weapons are pretty cool. I do like them. I might get all of them and sell a bunch of stuff that I have. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great weekend. Peace out.